show me. I'm the Watchdogs Film Freak, and I watched Magnificent Warriors. Magnificent Warriors is a 1987 film directed by David Chung, starring Michelle Yeoh, Richard Ung. I never will learn how to pronounce that name. Uh, Tung Shing Yi, Lowell Lo, uh, Shindi Lau, and lots of other people. Magnificent Warriors is a film set in the 30s and is about Michelle Yeoh, who is a... Um, well, you know, the movie never actually says what her real occupation is. Um, I mean, she's, she's pretty much Indiana Jones, except she's not an archaeologist, and she's a woman, and she knows Kung Fu, and she's Chinese, fighting the Japanese and not the Nazis, but she has a whip. She's an explorer type, who is really good at Kung Fu, and can just beat the crap out of people, and she's a pretty good shot, too. But she is recruited by the government to uh, fly into this area of, I don't remember what the place was called, and uh, sort of get out their prints, get their prints out of this area that the Japanese are invading. And uh, she has to meet up with another guy who is also just kind of Indiana Jones. And together they have to work together to, to get this king out, or prince, whatever he is out. And it's actually a very fun, very fun movie. One thing that this movie does exceptionally well is its characters. It does a fantastic job of building a great core cast of protagonists, where you don't have to typically rely on Michelle Yeoh and the other protagonist, male protagonist, whose name I cannot remember. They actually have a whole crew of fantastic characters. Even the characters who I expected to be annoyed by the whole time, because they were annoying when we first met them, actually grew into nice, well-developed, cool, people to hang out with for a whole movie. My only real problem with the plot is the plot itself. It's, I, I, I understand her mission is to go into this area, get the prince and get out of this area that is now being occupied by Japan. Fine, cool idea. But their plans change a couple times. And in the end, I'm not actually sure if the plan worked like, I'm pretty sure the story was just there to contain a whole bunch of really cool action scenes. And I'm pretty sure that's what it is, so let's just get to the action. This movie is absolutely delightful, super fun. The action, while yes, very serious at parts, just remains a good, fun, kind of swashbuckling time. Like, it's almost like a mixture of like an Indiana Jones feel with just like a hint of almost Pirates of the Caribbean, like not with like a bunch of sword fights and jokes and stuff it's just so fun fun action i liked it great introduction to michelle yo's character at the very beginning with her quick fight scene she has right at the start a fantastic introduction to what this character and what she can do especially like with her whip she's actually really <laughs> imagine indiana jones doing kung fu with the whip it was great the other male protagonist whose name i'm never gonna remember and i'm just not gonna try it's this guy if i can find a picture of him it's this guy right here i'm pointing this way i should be pointing this way but he had some cool stuff. He is he is a, a fun martial artist who also gets some uh, some really cool stuff. But the highlight, definitely the person highlighted in this movie is certainly Michelle Yeoh. She gets a really cool fight scene where like her uncle or something is like showing her off to the general who's about to recruit her for this mission. But like they test her by like sending in these people that she doesn't know are coming after her, and she just beats the hell out of all of them, and it's fantastic. But the martial arts high of the film definitely comes. Uh, it, it just barely past the midpoint of the film. They're going for this plan that they, they need to get extra oil for her plane to get out because she's also a pilot. She's a jack of all trades. But they have to invade this base. And so she is just, like, they get a couple guns and a couple grenades, but really it's just her uh, with a bunch of, like, spears and staffs and her whip 
and just Kung Fu and Michelle Yeoh rules. There's also another character who can do some Kung Fu, but her Kung Fu is almost a bit more comedic because she's so tiny that I guess she has like no power behind any of her moves. And so she's like clearly battering this one guy, but he's just kind of taking it and he's very confused. Uh, until of course her character actually does have a dramatic arc in which her fight scene towards the very end uh, is taken much more seriously. But the actual highlight, the big, huge, climactic kung fu fights, action, martial arts, choreography, is definitely this center, middle of the film fight scene, which is fantastic. The later parts, the later action beats, are much more guns, explosions, uh, primitive weapons, arrows, and heavy rocks, which is still really cool, and you do get little bursts of martial arts action within that, but the main point of all that is definitely the more explosive action. But, even though I came for the martial arts, I was genuinely so wrapped up in the story and these characters, they did a really good job with all of them that I wanted to see how it played out. I didn't care that there wasn't any more kung fu. And there's definitely been movies where I'm like, like the, mo the, the writing is bad, the characters are bad, and when there's no more kung fu, I'm just bummed out. This was not that movie. I had a really fun time with almost everything about this movie. One disappointing thing with the action, though, is one of the henchmen was Meng Lo. Like, they got a Venom. And a good one. And I don't think they did anything with him. I think he got a, 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 a little bit to do, mostly off screen. And I guess he died. I kind of lost track of him, which is a bummer because, I mean, it was Meng Lo. The dude f rules. Wrapping this up, I had a fun time with Magnificent Warriors. And I think you will too if you watch it. And you should watch it. It is on Prime Video. I highly recommend it. I'm going to give Magnificent Warriors four stolen watches out of five. Four Kung Fu Indiana Joneses out of five. This is a very fun movie. A super easy, very light watch. It's nothing too heavy in the drama. Like there's nothing super crazy within the plot that you really have to actually focus on. It's just all there for the action. It's a fun enough plot while not taking itself super seriously. I highly recommend checking it out. What did you think of Magnificent Warriors? If you have seen it, are you going to watch it? Like I said, it's on Prime. It's right there. Tell me what you thought in the comment section down below. And what is your favorite Michelle Yeoh film? Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Head over to Martial Arts Film Freak over on Facebook. There is a Facebook page now where I post fight scenes, pictures, anything from the world of martial arts cinema. Also, I still write for marshalljournal.com every now and again, and I, and I edit a bunch of the uh, articles that go up on there. So head over to marshalljournal.com for articles on all things martial arts and action. Thank you so much for watching. Again, like, share, and subscribe, and have a good day.